-hmm. as long as you're not trying to hurt them. So we're going to show you another thing. And uh, it's our phone charging today. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I feel like I need to do something. And I had this silly project. And let's get ready for Halloween together. Let's get ready for Halloween. So we want to make these, uh, these nice little end cuts here. We want to indent this eyeball. So uh, we're just going to trace out our eye. Uh, if you've made a you know a piece of paper that you're going to trace off, or you can just draw them on there, it doesn't really matter. Uh, take your blade, uh, you can actually use a smaller uh, steak knife, which will be much sharper, much nicer. I can't find mine at the moment, so we're resorting to Old Faithful. Basically, you're just going to go in and you want to match the, the angle of uh, wherever one of these pumpkin uh, sort of ribs or flutes is at. And you're just going to go in and you're going to trace that. And you can mark with tape or you can put a black mark or something on there so you know how deep you want to go. And you're just going to want to trace that really carefully and go in there and cut all along it. And then you come in and you basically just pick it out and get it all out of there. And then you take some other kind of tool like, eh, it's on top of my unit or maybe it's not. I don't know. I need to get prepared for this video. <laughs> Look at that. There it is. So. Uh, you know, you cut this eyeball out, you go back in, you uh, make it all nice and smooth, and then you come back in afterward, and you want to just barely round that over, you know, so that it has a nice transition, you're going to lose some of your, uh, your line here, which could show through on your hard coat. But just to show you how that looks when it's all finished, it's uh, one of these guys over here. So uh, you can see, I mean, they're pretty, uh, pretty well formed here, big old pumpkin eyeballs. Um, these aren't necessarily supposed to be jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, they're basically just large pumpkin-headed people. Uh, but I want to show you one other thing where you can use a similar trick like this to add an incredible amount of depth to something that you're going to add on as a later scenic element. Uh, this little stem here is an added-on element. It was sculpted uh, not as part of the direct foam. So you sculpt that out, which makes it a whole lot easier than actually doing it in the direct foam. You place it on top of your sculpture piece and you go, okay, where do I want it? I want it about right there. And just trace it out, just like you would with any of your eye forms or anything else. Trace it out, come back in, cut it out, make it, uh, you know, give yourself a little bit of leeway, but you want it to be kind of tight too, so that it kind of squeezes in. And you can apply, you know, uh, Max 77 or something to, to make sure it's solidified afterward. Then go in and round out all these little edges here. Give them a nice little round over so that when you place your piece in here, your other element in, and it pops into place, it gives it just this <coughs> much stronger organic feel than if you were to <coughs> try to level this guy out and flatten this guy and try to bond them as two flat pieces. Instead, it's got a nice little round over, it goes to another uh, an, an element that's a protrusion element that you've added in, it just makes it, uh, you know, a whole lot uh, more effective, I think. So, uh, I don't know, happy Halloween. Go make, uh, go make giant pumpkins. Have some fun.